You also uh, did security uh, for for a, a legend that, that we lost uh, not too long ago, uh, Chaz Williams. Oh yes, Chaz. Um, just, like I guess just I, guess. I was over Chaz security black hands. Yeah. You know Chaz was an individual that was like everybody try to remember him as being a gangster because he allegedly robbed 160 banks yeah. while he was going Couldn't to college BET, um, in prison. Mm. You understand? Know he was on BET, mm -hmm. you know, American Gangster. Yeah. But uh, he also fought BET in a lawsuit because they was trying to do trade infringement rights on him, and he beat them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He was a very intelligent individual. I mean, like he had uh two bachelors and a master's degree mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah and um he was just a phenomenal person he started working with uh the the people in um the councilmen's in queens against the gang violence and stuff like that and at one time they had it under control whether you know the gang members wasn't you know banging no more mm -hmm. just on the influence chaz had on the streets right and yes, when you were when you were with uh, Chaz, a lot of the time was during the whole back and forth between Fifty and Ja Rule, where kind of kind of at the start of that whole situation. Yeah, I was with him through that whole thing. All right, so now and you said so you told me before you didn't realize that they even had a beef uh, the way they the way that they did until things got heated in Vegas. That's when I I really didn't I didn't understand it or I I wasn't even looking at it like that because we used to always be around each other. Chaz used to be around Irv Gotti and them yeah. and Supreme and the whole nine yards. So I didn't even think it was a beef like that. I just think there was just two little two rappers that didn't like each other mm -hmm. and, and they was from the same area. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ja because he was on was more cocky and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And 50 who was living the life that he was talking, you know what I'm saying, yeah. or had lived the life he was talking, yeah. was anxious to show everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I never thought about the, the, the beef or anything until I was out in Vegas and it was a situation where as that, you know, um, I gave, I let uh, 50 babysit Nina for a minute mm -hmm. and Supreme came out the car and they was mean mugging each other. And, Chaz, uh, I asked them was they going up to the party where the party was. And they say, no, nah, we're going to go to this other party. And they jump back in the limousine. You understand? Mm -hmm. And it was strange to me. So I questioned Chaz. I said, yo, Chaz, man, I asked uh, Premium, was they going to the movie, coming up to the party? Mm -hmm. and he was like, no, nah, just tell old dude that uh, I'm going to holler at him later and everything like that. But, bruh, the tension between, ja I mean, between Supreme and 50 was crazy, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's like Preem was looking through me dead at 50, and 50 was looking through me dead at Preem, mm -hmm. and it was like they was about ready to, you know, get it on. Mm -hmm. And I said, I didn't understand that, man, but then I know that 50 was all right. He said, what you mean 50 was all right? Yeah, because I gave him Nina the babysitter. He said, you did what? <laughs> you said, you gave him what? Yeah. I said, he said, yeah, mom. He said, yo. Get that from him. <laughs> yeah, for y'all, y'all folks that don't know uh, who, <laughs> right. who Nina is, y'all got to watch the documentary <laughs> and we can get the breakdown on on, on that. Okay. Yeah. This is Deontay the Bronze Bummer Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Come on, live. Bye, you Uh huh. This is Hi, Real you Fans, Real Talk. Talk. Real fans, real talk. We as real as you thought.